So this is a high profile third rounder. Play. And it'll be the American to get it underway. This matchup, we've got two players that are really both very defensive minded. They can play offense and they can play it very well. And when they're playing good offense is when they're playing their best tennis, but they build their games off of their defense. That was 15 -0. And it's interesting with Stevens and, and both of them, they pretty much just start the point with their serves, it, but Sloan can, she can really get those MPHs up there or kilometers up there, but she sometimes just chooses to just roll it in. And to be honest, that was the case against Coco. I've got first serve percentages in the 80s. A lot of kickers out wide just to set up the plus one forehand, just to dominate with this shot that is, as we know, world class. And if you have to say there's a best shot on the court, you would probably say it's the Stevens forehand, but oh. for Kerber, what, what she can do on the run, what she does creating angles, she is a, a player unto herself in that regard. Fourteen, fifteen. expect that we're going to see, especially in these early games in this first set, a little cat and mouse and, and figuring each other out. Game, Stevens. You know, head to head as we saw it five to one. The only victory for Kerber coming the very first time they met. That was back in Indian Wells. Why has Sloan enjoyed this matchup, Elise? You alluded to a couple of differences, but why in particular has she got the better of Kerber so often? Because she, frust she frustrates her. And her defense is, un when she's playing very good tennis, Stevens' defense is unparalleled. She just blankets that baseline. She, it's hard to put the ball by her. And, and Kerber, when she Kerber plays her, serve. doesn't possess that firepower, that one big shot that she can knock her over, can set herself up. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Average first serve speed so far at this tournament for Kerber. It's just 92 miles an yeah. hour. And pretty much just 30 yeah. puts Balls the ball. In. Yep. Now being left-handed, she she serves cagily. She uses that that lefty slice. She she tries to mix it up. But second serve especially, she John kind of just rolls it in. Fourteen. Game. Start on serve. Number one. Game on first set. The German. Former world number one, of course, she reached the pinnacle of the world rankings with that win here in 2016. And that man was on the bag back then. Yes, and he's back on the bag, and as they say, and uh, Torben Belts, and, and that's with whom she's had her greatest success as a coach.
there's a little indication of what you were talking about. That's what Stevens does. She's, she can even be hanging behind that baseline, and you think that you've got that opening, and she just closes that gap with her speed. Makes you play that extra ball. And the other thing, Stevens does not give Kerber a lot of pace. And Kerber loves to absorb pace. Fifteen mm -hmm. one. Was a tough start to the season for Kerber. Only won nine <laughs> matches Amazing. in her first ten tournaments of the year. For for a player that's going to be a Hall of Famer, she first three slams she loses in the first round. That that's just not Kerber like tennis. And when I said that, that Stevens doesn't give Kerber a lot of plays, she's 15, kind of 15. just, she works the point, and when she has that opportunity, then she, then she picks up the miles per hour, then she picks up the pace, but tries not to give Kerber something in her strike zone. Guess that was in the strike zone. Exactly. And kind of got what it deserved. Not much on that serve, and Kerber waiting. And probably one of the most adept at taking the ball up the line, isn't she, Kerber, in women's tennis? Well, and she sets things up with that angle, and you saw that angle on that backhand. She sets things up with her cross courts, hits those short little angles, and then sets up that down the line. A big shot. Right up there in terms of pace. One of the biggest forehands in women's tennis. Just can control the middle of the court, and with that, just makes no mistake. Anything short punishes. Stevens. Side of the racket just weights it up a little bit. There's Mum. Darian King. Coaching duties for Sloan right now. Former player. Stevens. Stevens just biding her time in these rallies, and and with Darian, it just seems that this is a nice fit. Sloan has has certainly had success with other coaches, had great success with Kamal Murray. Game Stevens. A first ace. Uh, Stevens. Stevens leads two games to one. First set. Enjoys the early lead here. Two one. Yeah, but then one, two. Oh. Well, 
that's nice from Kerber. And she's going to have to take a little more risk. She doesn't love taking risk, but that that's the type of tennis she's played to get herself back in the conversation and you know, has to go against the grain. It's the serve that she will play more from the knock. Always, even if you look at some of the data, the most accurate of serves, but it it's a, gets a good swing to it. It's a lot of turn on the serve. Well, this lefty 15, knows it's 15. nice to be left-handed as a tennis player, even though she's really a natural righty. There's there are a bunch of natural righties that play tennis left-handed, Kerber being one of them, of course. Rafa Nadal, famous for it. It's just beautiful from, from Stevens. Pulled out wide, and it's just such easy power from behind the court. First break point. Yeah, she's she's got it. Stevens in the end. Three games to one. First set. Stevens makes the first move. Over hitting on that forehand, but you understand it, and that's that's because she feels that pressure that Stevens can run down so many of those shots, and and. That pressure just built. Do head to usopen.org if you haven't already. Lots to see there. Lent for service. Lots of interviews and stats and merchandise. Download the app as well. Don't forget to do that. Keep you across all that's happening here. Lent for service. And you, you saw that forehand from Kerber. That's one of her better shots that she hit there. And and Stevens just treated it <laughs> with almost disdain and set herself up. And that's above the shoulder. That is not an easy shot to hit. Thirty love. And I, I really do believe for Kerber having to play the back-to-back -back matches, having had that long, long night just two nights ago, maybe catching up also. And again, the first serve percentage is high. And he missed the three so far. And when she starts feeling confident, then she throws in the big one, 109. That's big for, for Sloan. It's an easy pull away. It's tennis that's easy on the eye as far as Stevens goes right now. She has broken three. Four games to one. First set eight. number one. Mm -hmm. 
Nick, we, we talked about how oh, difficult COVID was, obviously, for for most most players. It hasn't been easy, but for Sloan Stevens, between Christmas and the Australian Open, lost three relatives. And an aunt and two grandparents, 15, but 15. she's talked about how when she was there in Australia, and she only got to see the funerals on Zoom, and it was just felt just incredible guilt that she should be there with her family, and said that you know, having that regret that maybe she could have sought to leave the bubble, and uh, said it will always just stay with her. But is you know learning to cope with that, and of course, you know we all tend to beat beat ourselves up over certain things. You have to believe that her family members would 14, certainly 15. understand the situation she was in, and but what great love for her family as you you see her mother there, far right corner in the glasses, sunglasses. Game camera. Was a college swimmer. Stevens <laughs> leads four games to two. First set. BU or Boston College. And meanwhile, gets herself out of that game. It was actually 5 3 down in the final set against Yastremska in round one, was Kerber before pulling it through. is the shot that, that does damage. She's off and off her back foot, but here, open stance, and just finds that sweet angle. She's just got to. She's just got to be of the mindset that that she's willing to work those points like that and know that so many of these balls are coming back. Yeah, some good pressing. Didn't panic. Thirty. Mm -hmm. Today we've seen that. 14, 13. And just love the margin that she gives herself on these shots. She's the aggressor, but 
not going for too much. Great height over the net. continues Stevens. to drive her on. It's Sloane Stevens that leads the battle of the former champions Stevens out here. Five games to Five two, two. First set. Of course, you never forget when she won the US Open. I think she lost eight first rounds in a row, didn't she? Elise? Afterwards. Following, yeah. Afterwards, but then righted the ship, got to the got to the finals of the French mm. the next year, won Miami. And we, we've seen with so many Ooh, players who win their first slam or win a slam and it's life changing and you're I mean, nothing is the same after that and how you how you cope with it how you deal with it oh. especially the manner in which she won it as you say because she'd just come back from injury only eight weeks before yeah it was it out of the blue win cincinnati and then comes in here <laughs> wins the u.s open it was just kind of nuts but when you're that spectacular of an athlete, which she is, she was capable of it. Thirteen, fifteen. New balls in this game. Even though it's not the paciest, you can see the body serve just skipping on Stevens. A few more questions of the American in this game. Largely cruising on serve. doesn't generate pace very well off of a of a serve like that. She wants some pace given to her. And when it's not, it becomes a little more difficult. Fifteen. Oh. Special shot. He's been firing on all cylinders so far this week. Look at the swing arc. We talked about this the other day, but the far away it is from the body, Elise. Maximizes the power. And it's not really a flat shot. She, she puts some spin on it. She just has wonderful margins. On that one, though, just a little out of position. And for Kerber, this is what she was looking for. She got the hold, and now she's got a 30 all. Got to make Stevens play.
remarkable. You asked me before this match began, but what happens between these two? Stevens just frustrates her. For Kerber, she couldn't have done anything more. And there, Sloan, an incredible answer. She's had the majority of the answers in the opening 30 minutes. Stevens has reached that point. Double. 63 is what it registered it when it hit the net. It's not gonna, it's not gonna get it done, and she knows it. But it gives Kerber a, a little glim, a glimmer of hope and sends a sign like, okay, maybe she's a little nervous. Kerber. A nice depth from, from Kerber there and over anxious from Stevens. Gets herself the break point. Stevens leads five Actually games to four. Kerber first set. responds. And gets herself back on serve here in this opening set. Kerber, four five. Let mm -hmm. first service. Defense from the American. 15 love. Much more offense minded from Kerber here. 19 shots that rally. Oh. 30 love. And that's just sneaky. Yeah, 83 miles an hour, but again, we talk about the, the spin on the ball. The, Movement. This court will certainly add to it. Impressively here. And she is picking up the pace of her shots, Kerber. And these last several points just turn things around where she's the one taking it to Stevens. Oh. The fire back, isn't she? Something that was missing at times earlier this year, back end of last year.
14-15. And that was just in the middle of the court. Kerber's not as good from the middle as she is when she's, she's playing more from the extremes where she can create angles, find that down the line in the short cross courts. look up towards her corner. And it's been an impressive last 10 minutes from this lady. Five games on the first set. We talked about the defense of, of Stevens, and now it's that defense of, of Kerber where she's playing somewhat aggressively. She's not missing at all, and she's willing to dictate, but also defend. And frustrating. Frustrating to Stevens right now. How things can, in essence, turn on a dime. Just a 99 mile an hour first serve, but again, something we talked about earlier on. Just trying to use the plus one to good effect. Oh. did so well to get herself back in, was play aggressively, but cut out any unforced errors and knows that she can't miss shots like that, especially at a point where she got that look at the second serve that Stevens just rolled in there. And it's a period right now where Sloan's not getting first serves in. time. Using a bit of pressure. Flatten that forehand out there. Incredible depth. Really good crowd on the Lewis Armstrong Stadium this afternoon. Too often from Sloan Stevens, pumping herself up here. 
in a good battle. It's 6-5. Stevens lead six games to five, first set. Second major show court here in New York, and there's a good look at it. Fantastic arena. Find their form on court the line. Well, anything short, the other's going to punish, and there the Stevens return a serve, landed mid-court, and Kerber gave it the treatment it deserved. Out. 15 mm -hmm. it, Stevens was cruising, and then all of a sudden. She throws in a double fault when she's serving for that set and just changed the tenor. She was a little cramped up on that one, didn't she? Didn't give her enough self enough space. It's all been belts. Coach of this lady. Oh. 15-14. Worked so hard to get herself back into this set. There's the world number 17 faltering here. Please. It's a rough finish in the end. It's a set Seven that the American the wraps up eventually. Three quarters of an hour here on Lewis Armstrong. It's Stevens that leads in the battle of the former champions. Well, it's now 11 sets in a row, incredibly. Second set. And the American has won against the German, dating back to their contest in Indian Wells back in 2015. She really has. And Kerber's number. Second, more pace on that one than usual, 103 miles an hour. And it's about hitting your spots. And I wouldn't say that, that either one of these players are necessarily spot servers, <laughs> where you know, you, you, when you've spent so many hours going for that target. Come in a hold on to she. Oh, he's kind of just eventually able to wear her opposition down. Flat strike. But she's no dummy out there, and she's smart enough to know <laughs> at this, you know, what what she needs to do. Can she execute it? And there you say just too good from from Stevens, but. 14, but it was aggression that, that got 
Kerber back into set number one and almost pulled it off. And nobody pulls off forehands like that better than Sloan Stevens. Ability to make the extra ball something that this lady's made a career out of but first game <laughs> second set at the moment it's coming and from the other end as well here's a case of needs a must as far as the ranking goes for Stevens right now given where she's is outside the top 50 just pulled up here a little yep. bit. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Of course, for Kerber, those wheels are so important. There's a nice one, too. 15. Toward the end of the first set is where she started playing more aggressively when that shot presented itself going flattening the ball out more and she's just going to have to continue to try to play play minutes. like that flatten more balls out maybe come a little bit out of her comfort zone she knows she can play she can play at that level Vintage Kerber makes that shot and finds the angle. And you know how frustrating that is for her to miss that because that's usually a bread and butter shot for her. And yep, what on earth was that? Pressured Stevens into making the mistake. First, she Second won her set. first slam, and it was here in 2016. She was 28. And so she talk about persistence and patience. That was nine years after she made her, her, her Grand Slam debut. So just improved with age, believed in herself. After she wins here in 2016, in 2017, who does she get in the first round? Someone with, that wasn't as known then as she is now, and it was Naomi Osaka in, in 2017. And, and it was in, in, in that year that people started to take notice of Osaka. Oh. Just leaked a little wide. Give you that close call just to show you, but <laughs> with this electronic line calling, it is there are no ifs, ands, or buts. It's definitive. Let for service.
Thirteen. A, a shot like that, you're behind the baseline. It didn't have the forward momentum that she needed. You can see by the look that she gave as well. It's the disappointment of making a mistake like that. Oh. herself on forcing errors out of opponents. Had the aggressive mindset that point, but you just felt behind the baseline, just muscling that a little too much. Game is too nice. Good hold from Sloan Stevens. Stevens two games to one, second set. Stays Stand ahead one set to in this third round match. Set two one. Came back against Vera. You used to think of that almost as a death knell when you, you got down two sets, but yeah. no longer. Incredible. Fifteen long. Fist pump from from Kerber lets you know how engaged she is, and Stevens doesn't come into net that often. If she came in a little more, she probably would have gone down the line with that with that approach. Fourteen. Off. Two games over. German. Second set. Very rarely see four straight on the service game, so terrific from Kerber, and now can just, as we hone in on an hour out here, she can start honing in on looking for a break here. Looking a dip, didn't it, to almost outside the world's top 30. Just a couple of months ago, but has arrested the decline. Showing their athletic prowess out here on the Lewis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. 15. That is a vintage Angie Kerber point. How she got down for that backhand, but once she got a hold of it, she never let up. And this reaction from her, the fist pump, this is a player that before the year began said she was thinking about retiring. You, you stop any momentum that an opponent can build. You get the good serve in and you, you take care of your own business.
13-15. Just those odd points here or there, isn't it, where she's just giving away an unforced error uncharacteristically in these big points. It has. A uh, few people in the crowd thought he may have caught the line, but just a fraction wide. And what a point from both. And Kerber finding that incredible angle. And for Sto Sloane Stevens, had she pulled that off, it would have been utterly remarkable. Stevens making her work for it. And Kerber profiting from moving forwards. 30 40. And has played some momentum building points, has Kerber. Been some tremendous tennis. Just needs to capitalize. Goes. And it is Angelique Kerber that's able to steal the march here in this second set. Stevens. She's the first to break. 3 2. Yes, it has. Autumnal. Beautiful neck. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys like to call the fall. <laughs> I, I like the way you put it. Talk about the momentum that, that Kerber's starting to build in. And we're starting to see them both play some good tennis at the same time, which is what you, you want to see in a match. And we'll see who really continues to rise to this occasion. 15 over. Winning eight of ten points behind the first. She's actually only missed one first serve in this set. again 15 13. Kerber making her hit that extra ball and as this match is worn on you just feel that Kerber is anticipating much better than she did early on The disguise on the 
the drop shot, old. and it wasn't a bad approach from Stevens. Just uses that offhand so well, hitting that lob. Fourteen fifty. Just skipping on. Kerber leads for so two. low second set. And for once, Stevens caught slightly off balance. Every single member of the top 20 seeds in the women's draw making it through to this stage. How many years? I, I don't know if that's happened <laughs> in a very long time, or if it ever has. Law 15. Let for service. Scheduling matches a bit of a headache, isn't it? Given the quality of so many of the the matchups in the third round. And this particular matchup looking ever more likely as though it could be heading the distance. Mm. Oh, she had her timing was just timing the ball so beautifully early in the match in that first set, but got to give so much credit to Angie Kerber for putting pressure on Stevens, and the result now is Kerber's a point away from that 5-2 lead. 15-14. Double break secured for the German. Kerber leads five games to two. Second we are set, tracking first set, the third Stevens. final set here in New York. Oh. Which is why when you say that that top 20 gotten through in these first couple rounds, that's usually shocking now in the women's game. Came out. You circled a number of matches that you thought might be upsets, but didn't really come to fruition. Thirteen. shot for the last few 15. games, but reignited here. Oh. 
40, 50. Gerber has definitely taken a more offensive mind, isn't she, into this second set. As a result, she's on the brink of closing it out. Oh! here on the Lewis Armstrong Stadium. She and Sloane Stevens are headed for a third and final set. Stevens to begin the decider. Establishing herself early in this third set is important for Stevens, and you got to think of the crowd. If, if she gets going, that crowd is going to get behind her. There you go, and that's what, what we saw early in that first set for most of the first set. When she got out to the 5-2 lead, she was the aggressor. And they're just beautifully done with that swing volley. Just awkward for Stevens, but really needed to take that up the line more. Didn't really give herself a shot on that that ball after the approach. Oh. Some pace and whip from the two hand up. 14 and 15. And the aggressive posture off that backhand, finding that angle, and then easy pickings on the forehand. Beautifully done. This third set for Sloane Stevens. First game, final set. And in this game, she hits some fabulous backhands. We, we speak about the forehand, but thinking aggressively even off that backhand side. And the three winners in the game. Just the lift she wanted. To begin this decider. Four players, home players, to reach the third round. Of course, we've got Collins, Pagula, and Shelby Rogers making up the quartet. such a wonderful margin off that forehand even as she's hurting you and we rarely see her flatten out backhands like she has in the last couple of points and it has paid dividends it oh, goes back to old faithful <laughs>
she's made it, has she? What a shot. 15, 15. And it looked like she caught it late. Look at that smack on the line. Lend for service. Lend for service. One thing Herbert doesn't want is for Stevens to get on an early roll in this final set. Let for service. All big points coming up. Ambitious, wasn't it? 14, Angie Kerber, she's not going to miss those. She loves a target. Responds again. The forehand is definitely starting to fire once more. Well, that's just pure brilliance off of that side. And a long way back as well. Mm. Packing a real punch. Someone hit the extra ball. Oh, and uh, the faces on the court of the fans say it all. Kerber fighting for her life that point. Outstanding rally. The sort of tennis we've been expecting, at least. It's yep. been bubbling up, hasn't it? And just see how engaged Sloan Stevens is. Lost that disappointing point and then just turned right around. Shot wasn't there, just a little bit of additional bounce. Stevens retreating. German, Final resilient set. as ever. She hangs on. So 
to secure an early hold. And as you watch these last couple games, this match is going to be equally a test of will as it is of skill. Because that was just tremendous. Tremendous fighting from from Kerber to keep her in, keep herself in that game. The angles even from there that Kerber can create, but well done by Stevens. Third set really has come out finishing the ball. Just pressing the forehand. And on the other side of the net, you've got Kerber just absorbing that pace and, and sending it right back. Quality tennis from both. opening three games from a defensive standpoint. You're just looking for a quick out there. Both players up in the stakes. The stakes are high here in New York. A place in the second week Stevens of the U.S. Stevens Open Stevens at stake. It's 2-1 Stevens in the third. Good atmosphere here on the Lewis Armstrong. Yeah, about one, two. Hit too many overheads this match. Maybe, maybe was her first. Just a touch ambitious. And Kerber just putting up that incredible defense behind the baseline, just found that angle. And we talked earlier oh. about how Sloan Stevens frustrates Kerber and why she, in their head to head, is leading at 5 1. Oh. 15, 15. There's been a little frustration the other way, where Kerber has just been defending so beautifully, waiting for her opportunities, and also playing offense. Fourteen, fifteen. Not a lot on that serve, but that sneaky lefty serve wide, short in the court. My first 
first teacher always said to me, hurry up and take your time. And that's exactly what Stevens did when she recognized that drop shot was coming. She got up to it quickly and then took her time beautifully through that backhand. that gets the better of the Stevens offense. Simply magnificent. Is the winner of this match Two the winner of that point? As you Final watch that four. point develop, that was something special. And we'll see the response now after, the, after such a point where it was physical tennis, but also mental and emotional. Sloan of a couple months ago would not have turned back around after that that incredible previous point and just gotten the focus right back. <laughs> and that's maturity. Stevens up there with ample time. Yeah, and we we're seeing Kerber go to that drop shot quite a bit right now. You always want to have that element of surprise, but if you if you continue to go to it, it's going to be anticipated. dropped on serve by the American in this time third and final set. A swift hold for Sloan Stevens. Stevens leads ranges ahead. It's a slender lead she holds in this third set. Three two. Such a clever one too, isn't it? He's pulling Kerber into a very uncomfortable part of the court. And, and look how Stevens holds her ground right here. She's inside that court, doesn't budge. Yet again, Sloan Stevens. 
Evans showcasing her outstanding athleticism. And on many players, that drop shot 15, would work, 15. but as speedy as Stevens is, and, and when you drop shot to that backhand side, she's very good with that approach, with handling that, that next shot. some of these points. <laughs> I think she knows it's a break point. Kerb has done well. And the return was a fitting shanty. Only just made its way over. was alive to it. Just a huge point right now for both. Kerber again, that lefty. Shorten the court, sneaky out wide, and saves two break opportunities. Disappear those disappearing for Stevens. So, Nick, does she go to Old Faithful with the serve? Down break point again, does she try to hit that short one wide? Getting those first serves in, especially in that ad court when she needs them, and then building the point from there. quality from both players. A super hold saves the bright points, seven. holds her nerve, and brings us all square again. Two incredible holds in a row from from Kerber. Stevens putting pressure on her, making her come up with some spectacular shots. Back even at three all, and then the pressure coming right back on Sloan. <laughs> Stevens now, she she knows Kerber is going nowhere. Sloan's going to have to win this. Won't be handed a thing. Oh. 
just a little dip after the physical nature of the previous game, possibly. A little bit of fatigue creeping in. resurgence of of Kerber she has said she never stopped believing in herself I know what I can do and we are seeing what she can do afternoon for the American. Answering back. Usually not as comfortable flattening out the backhand, but we've seen some fabulous winners off that side, and none bigger than that. What a way to save the three break points. And they're helping Stevens now. She can feed off of this. because she hits a lot of balls off the left leg yep. on the back end, doesn't she? A lot of open stance, which kind of relies on a lot of hands. She didn't quite move them there. No, it's open stance, but quite often when, when she's not playing positively, she is off that back foot so much. Shaky two-handers. Let Kerber back in again. Misses its mark, and it's Angelique Kerber that lands the first blow here Kerber in this decider. How decisive is it going to prove to be? The German up 4 3. She now looks like the favourite to reach the last 16.
and when you just said to reach the last 16, you just cannot believe that what we're watching is just a third round match between two Grand Slam champions. For the right to probably play Osaka, it's just unbelievable. Oh. Setting in depth from from Kerber and Darian King just trying to urge Stevens through here. The feet just don't look quite as sharp, do they? At the moment. Just can can you find that extra wind? But at this point, Kerber, one word, ruthless, giving away nothing. Just five unforced <laughs> errors for the German in this third set as a whole. Emphasizing what Elise is saying. She might be throwing in the towel pretty soon. throw in some big serves and get, you know, a couple of one, two points, but that's not what what Stevens is getting now. She had got more of those in that opening set. Oh. Now has to work so hard for every point. Second serve, you can see just 78 miles an hour. By punishing it. Oh. from Angie Kerber. Just no way through the journey. 15, 15. And she has just out physical <laughs> Sloane Stevens in the last hour.
to be the end of the road for Sloan Stephen. She'll look back on that game, won't she, at 3-2. Opportunities to break. Couldn't make the most of them. Kerber has found her way to match point. A riveting contest, especially in the third. Sloan Stevens had her opportunities, couldn't take them. The German ultimately prevailing in a match. Bang on two hours. She's through to the last 16. 